Hey guys, Ponce here on the public test. I'm here to inform you guys of some potential nerfs to Braum. Um, again, again, as I always say, this is uh, public test realm stuff. So who, so who knows if it's actually going to go in or what patch it will go in if it goes in at all. But uh, through some fancy editing magic and uh, notepad above my head somewhere should be the actual figures behind it. But uh, basically, Winter's Bite has been lowered. Uh, the base the base damage early game has been lowered a bit. It ends up being the same thing ultimately, as you can see from the numbers. And stand behind me, the flat bonus you get, um, just kind of the base uh, bonus armor and MR, that was lowered early levels, as was the, um, the bonus, uh, like the ratio on it. So how much extra armor and magic resist you get from Braum's, uh, uh, Braum's own... Stat, base stats that was lowered a bit so um i don't know this is not a huge deal in my opinion um it's just early game stuff brom's power is really just kind of in his passive anyway and uh, just sort of how useful he is in sort of a utility sense i mean winter's bite the lower damage early hurts a bit um just because he is such a really strong early game brawler kind of support and he in my opinion sort of lives and dies based on that like the instances where i've seen him lose is when the support is and the ad carrier are kind of on the same wavelength and are really good at harassing him down early get braum low and once braum is low hp he can't really be a playmaker anymore um and I, I don't think any of this really affects that i mean stand behind me has kind of been in my opinion the one point wonder spell so it's going to stay weak most of the game but the bonus armor and magic resisting, that's the kind of thing Riot, I think, likes to lower because it's more kind of invisible power. You put it on, you know, the AD carry and they're suddenly stronger. And really, it's not what makes or breaks a fight, typically. Like, this is, if anything, I like Stand Behind Me more for the sake that it's, um, it repos it's like a repositioning gap closer or pseudo gap closer or disengage tool or, you know, whoa, shit, the, the AD carry did something dumb. It's time to save him kind of thing. Um, the fact that it gives armor and magic resist has almost been kind of like a bonus up until this point for me. So I, I don't think it's a huge issue. If anything, the Winter's Bite early, that's it's the bigger issue. But as you can see, by the time you level it up to rank 3, usually when you know, you're know you really getting in the face of the enemy and fighting a lot, um, the damage is, the base damage has been lowered by 10. So I mean, that's, that's really not a huge issue. Um, the level 1 engage, obviously a bit lower. 20 dexter damage at level 1 is it's pretty decent, but you know it's nothing. Nothing is going to wreck the character. And I think general consensus is that Braum is really strong. A lot of people say he's overpowered. I don't know. I haven't really pay. I don't typically pay too much attention to what other people say. Um, all I basically go off is, of is I like Braum and I play Braum. And I don't play characters if I think they're crappy. <laughs> so that's just, you know, that that's my barometer or sort of litmus test as to how good a champion is. But anyway, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. And there are some other buffs and nerfs and stuff, actually. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably, if not later today, I'll bring you a video about the potential nerf to LeBlanc, which I fully expected. Um, so that's just kind of stuff, yeah. I don't think it's going to surprise too many people. I'll see you guys around, and goodbye. Thanks for watching.